the math for $10,000 per month. When you are building your list and conducting email marketing, you need to treat it as a business. This means that you need to know the numbers or metrics that are important. You need to look at opt-in conversions and the value per subscriber is a minimum. Too few internet marketers really know their numbers. They try many different approaches and do not measure how well they performed. You must take the time to do this. It is just simple math in a lot of cases. One dollar per month per subscriber. For a long time in the internet marketing world, it has been accepted that each email subscriber that you have on your list is worth one dollar per month. This does not mean that every subscriber is going to spend money. It means that on average there is a dollar per month spent per subscriber. Nothing has changed for us to believe that this rule of thumb is not relevant today. There will never be a shortage of people that want to learn how to make money online, for example. They will spend money on the resources that they need to achieve this. So, base all of your calculations on $1 per subscriber per month. Getting to 1,000 email subscribers. Your aim should be to get 1,000 email subscribers on your list in the first month. If you think that this is impossible, there was a recent case study where an internet marketer who was relatively unknown started to build a new list and got 1,000 new subscribers in a single week. You can do this, but it is going to take some serious effort. It will help if you are willing to throw some money at this. In a later section, we will provide you with some very good ideas to drive traffic to your squeeze page, more on this later, so that you can rapidly build your list. The more subscribers that you can add to your list, the more opportunity you have to make it even bigger. You can do this with free traffic, but it is going to require that you devote a great deal of time, which you might not have. There are a lot of tasks that you can outsource to drive traffic, and if you have the budget, then you can leverage your time by doing this. Getting to 5,000 email subscribers. After you have reached your 1,000 email subscriber target, you need to aim to grow your list to 5,000 subscribers. Again, you can use techniques such as ad swapping, explained later, to make this happen. Make it a target to have 5,000 email subscribers by the end of the second month. Getting to 10,000 email subscribers. This is the magic number. If you apply the rule of thumb about email marketing, then 10,000 subscribers will mean $10,000 a month or more. So your target for the third month or 90-day period is to have 10,000 subscribers on your email list using the traffic methods that we will explain in a later section. Once you get to 10,000 email subscribers, you don't want to stop there. Keep on building your list for as long as you can. Imagine having 20,000 email subscribers. That should bring you in $20,000 per month. What about 50,000 subscribers or 100,000 subscribers? The math is easy, so get excited about list building.